again there crafters welcome back to JMC Creates my name is Jackie McKissick and this is card 3 for the Paper Craft Society box number 8 for May 20 so in card 1 you saw me stencil this butterfly onto a background it was actually a baby wipe technique background okay Sorry, excuse me. TJ was sleeping beside me last night and um, I don't sleep well when TJ's there. So, well, I don't sleep well at any of the time, but it's even worse when TJ's there. So, I'm a little tired. But anyway, I'm looking forward to crafting today as he's gone to his dance now. So, for this one, baby wipe technique stenciled with the paste you get in the kit this embossing folder is box 7 from the paper craft society kit now the background for this one I did with the yellow and green inks from box 8 and I think the orangey one is from box 7 either six or seven I only have six seven and eight so that was when I started okay oh my word excuse me so yes and the card is the green card from the kit and this ink this dark green ink and this card are just from my stash so the die is from this month's kit too. So I created, I did an A5 piece of card. I took my inks and actually what I really did was I just took the pads themselves and I pushed them down in the various areas. Excuse me. And then I am... Um, sprayed water over it because it didn't really matter for I was stenciling over this and I'm embossing over this so I don't need a perfect blend so my card base is 11 and 3 quarters by 4 and 1 8 scored at 5 and 3 quarters and as you can see I have my two narrow sections inside so then this bit is four <laughs> I obviously used the bag of that for something that bit is four the pink bit is four by five and five and then this will be three and three quarters by five and three eighths once again I'm just layering them all. Oh no I forgot to emboss it. Oh, gosh. Okay I might be too tired to do this. But I will not give up. I will be back in the gym. Okay folks I got it embossed and I actually used this leaf I think this is a crafter's companion embossing folder that I have and I'm just trying to take the pink ink from this month's kit and all I'm doing is catching little bits of the embossing I have it as flat as I can put it I'm not bending it All I'm trying to do is catch whatever is on top, not underneath. And you just go very gently. If you try to go too fast or too hard, you'll get it all where you don't want it. And sometimes if there's a bigger section, I will take the corner of my ink pad 
and endeavour to get that bit. Okay. And it's just one of those tasks that you do have to take your time at if you want to do a good job. Now, the reason I use this embossing folder is um, I, my ink pad kept going where I didn't want it in that one. So I thought I would try a different one that had a broader line to it that I could catch better if you know what I mean right that's going to do me now okay so now I'm going to stick it onto my background piece or my layer Noisy people are back. Okay folks, I'm back and David's made me a cup of tea so maybe that will wake me up a little bit and I will get this darn card finished. We haven't far to go now anyway. Um, I've stuck it together, my ink piece on my mat and that onto my card base and I have my butterfly layered up and I am just going to glue him on flat at the bottom okay right and then I'm just going to put him on around there him, but actually I think this one's a girl considering the colour scheme although TJ has informed me that his new favourite colours are orange, green and black it used to previously be blue but it's orange, green and black now because unspeakable Orange, green, yes. Unspeakable's favourite colour is green. And his hat is orange and black or something like that. I can't actually remember his, <laughs> his reasoning behind it, but this is what he said anyway. So, I've taken the wee hello die from the kit this month. And I've just layered it up three times on some pink card. And I'm just going to glue it down just around there. Right. Okay. And then we're just going to finish off with our gems. And I have this sitting here because this is my another of my ideas that I want to play about with. Right, I think I'm going to run out of room. Right. Let's find our pokey tool. Okay, so we want yellow, I think, on here. And we're going to just take three of these really large yellow ones because it can take the large ones. And I don't use them very often. So we're sticking those on there. And then we want some pink and orange and green, I think. Mm -hmm. Right. 
So we're just going to we're just going to randomly place them down on our card in a triangular kind of way. Okay, and then we will go with yellow and yellow and then we want a couple of green ones and I'm going to go for a couple of smaller ones even though they're not the right colour they're the right size and that is red, orange, orange, yellow, green. Yes, my gems are in rainbow order. As is everything in my crafting. So there we go. Card number three from the Paper Craft Society. Box number eight. Um, I hope you like if you would give me a thumbs up, that definitely would help me. Um, please feel free to emulate anything that I make. I don't see the point in going on YouTube and making something and then saying nobody's allowed to copy it. So, until the next time, thanks for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Till next time, jaggy out.